2022 and does this look familiar? This is the fermentation chamber. I'm in Oregon. Uh, this is a special Humber Wednesday. I'm putting it out on uh, Thursday uh, because it's a special, uh, we're surprising SJ. Uh, it's his birthday this weekend. So uh, my wife and I, we flew out here to uh, celebrate his birthday. So we're gonna have a freaking good old time. So I'm here at Clements Homebrew. Uh, I got well, flew in yesterday and uh, we just went around to a couple breweries and kind of just hung out. Uh, let's just give you an update because uh, I'm going to have plenty of footage probably next week or everyone's going to have plenty of footage next week. So let's just go ahead and talk about what I've got going on in uh, back home. So I've got the, uh, uh, which, which one do I have? I have, uh, I did a brew day the other day. Uh, footage is going to be on a little bit later. I'm doing the Rolo again. Uh, this is going to be uh, my uh, ABV on my first Rolo was a little bit low. Still tasted really, really good. but it's a little bit lower than I wanted, so I'm trying. I'm trying to tweak it, uh, trying to get a little bit more chocolatey, uh, trying to get uh, the ABV up right around 4.5, 4.4, somewhere in there. Not a little bit higher, <laughs> a little bit lower. So, uh, so I'm going for that. Uh, add a little bit more lactose. So my OG is going to be probably one. Well, it was 1.056. So. Uh, that went really good. Uh, the brew day went really, really well. Uh, I pitched the yeast the next day. Uh, it's percolating as we speak. I'll get home, uh, throw my, my nibs on top of it in, in the primary, and it will be, it should be ready. It should be ready by the time, uh, but I'm gonna do a taste test. I've got my other my other keg of Rolo, uh, which is a little bit lower at ABV, but still tastes really, really good. It's got good lacing and everything, but uh, just wanted to get the ABV up. If you're going to drink a beer, you might as well have a little bit, you know, our, our limit is 4.5 and uh, get a little bit more body and everything. So that's what I'm going for. So footage is on after this. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I think that's all I got. Me challenge is done. I already uh, submitted my, uh, my, uh, my votes or vote whatever I mean we had four meets I, I had four meets I had to do I uh, sent them in I think they're only I think they're getting graded or tallied uh, this weekend and uh, we should we should know which one was the best mead so and it wasn't really a competition this is everyone's uh, messing with the chocolate and putting it with honey and seeing what it actually came out with so it's kind of strange that it didn't really come out with a, a really deep, deep chocolate flavor. I, I, I think that no, none of them really tasted chocolatey the way that I was ex I was like, wanting or expecting, but it just had that, that hint. It's like honey and chocolate. So uh, anyways, uh, I will see you guys next week. Uh, it, we're gonna have a great time. Uh, vi video footage will be next week or the following week. And what else we got? That's it, that's it. So you guys have a great week. Uh, enjoy the footage. There's not a lot of it, uh, but uh, it's it's it was a fun time brewing the other day with uh, Brunch Brewer, and uh, I am out here. See you guys later. Peace. And we are uh, mashing. So well, actually, I'm uh, sparging right now. I am doing the Rolo B2, so I'm trying to make this a little bit beefier. Uh, see if I can outdo my last one. Uh, collect in it's a little bit darker and everything so I got Raj Brewer he's over here and he is doing which one's it's off the top right yeah. and this is you made this session bowl right yeah, this is the SJ possibility I got the stones on tap already so this is time to weigh and measure and see which one is that's right you gotta do you gotta brew as many session beers as possible especially during the summer and he's collecting his over here we got the AC going over there, and uh, we're we're rocking and rolling. So uh, we got the garage door. We got shut, of course, just like last time. Uh, but we're about ready to kick this thing open and get our brood egg going. We're out. So the boil is happening right now. We got Dan's over there. That one's not getting there, but uh, mine is. I have to start controlling it because it is going crazy. So I just turn it back a lot. So I'm going to try to get this thing under control. I'm going to do a 90 minute boil and we are set. So we 
got it under control right now. Man, that thing is dark. It is dark. Okay, 60 minute Columbus, half ounce. There you go. Dan just dropped his five minute and I'm about ready to hit my 30 minute. So it's, uh, this is a quarter ounce of What's my, what's my, what's my quarter ounce? What was it? Columbus was it? No. Oh, one. Challenger. Challenger. Make some beer. Okay, so we're on cool down right now. We're down about 200. And Dan, he is, where are you at? Like 115, 118, somewhere in there. Good. So, added my lactose. I didn't get that because it was uh, a little bit chaotic getting it in, uh, getting my cool, uh, or getting the chiller in. So, it's pretty hot. So, we're probably going to get it down to about maybe 90 degrees. And then we're probably letting it over, sit overnight. Uh, Dan's probably he's he's going to do an IPL, but he's going to be using which one are you going to use? Mangrove Jacks. Yeah, the California Lager. Yeah, the Lager. You try it out. Yep. And then I'm going to be using SO4 on mine. So uh, there you go. Uh, that is it. And we will be back next week, I believe. I think so. down as far as I could, I let it cool down overnight, and then we'll be good. Uh, Brick Street was a little bit high for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of water because I think it came down a little bit low, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to uh, the volume, and uh, my, my bricks should be a little bit lower. Okay, we're out.